Right, so we've created a simple set including some walls, a floor and a table and we're now going to make some very very simple props to go in this set. So what we're going to do is um, having added all of these elements to the set layer, add selected objects, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off so we've just got a blank screen. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a sphere. So I'm going to go create polygons sphere. Uh, actually let's just go into the options box and these are the settings I want. Uh, just, uh, just as a general rule, you generally want to go to Edit Reset Settings when you uh, open up a new tool because Maya will remember the settings you used last time and you might not want those. So Axis Divisions 30, Height Divisions 30, Create. So now we have a simple sphere. And what we're going to go and do is turn that into a bowl. So let's hit the space bar and let's go to the orthographic side view that's here I'm hitting spacebar again and then I'm going to right click and go to vertex mode so now I've got all the vertices selected and I'm going to drag select these guys here and simply uh, actually I can't hit delete on my keyboard but what I can do is go edit mesh delete edge forward slash vertex and if I click on that they will disappear. Now if I go back to my perspective view you'll see that I've now got a face here which I don't want. So I'm going to right click, select face, click on that and simply hit, hit delete on my keyboard and now we've got uh, a bowl or the beginnings of a bowl but it's wafer thin so we need to make it a little bit bigger. So we've still got faces selected, so I'm going to drag select all those faces and we are going to use the extrude tool to create some thickness for this bowl. So that is to be found up here, edit mesh, extrude and there's a little funny blue icon here which we want to click on which will change that to world space which is what we want. And now we are going to use these little handles here, this little red box and this little blue box to just gently add a little bit of thickness to the edge of the bowl. And you'll see here that the, these numbers are changing in the inputs um, column here in the channel box. And what I'm going to do is just regularize this 0.95 for that one and 0.95 for that one so that it's uniform. So we've got the same amount of extrude going on in both axes. And then I'm going to right click and go back to object mode and there is our bowl. Now there's some problems with this bowl because if we put it on a table it would roll around and you wouldn't be able to use it for anything. So we're going to need to shape the base of it a little bit. So I'm going to right click on it again and go to vertex mode and then I'm going to go into the side view here I'm going to zoom in if I go to lighting two-sided lighting there we go I'll make that look slightly cleaner and I'm going to drag select these vertices and pressing W on my keyboard and holding down the shift key I'm just whoops no I, I don't no sorry not holding down the shift key I'm just moving that up in the x axis in the y axis slightly then i'm going to drag select these guys and move them up a little bit i'm just creating a flat bottom here and i'm doing this in a very low tech simple way but hopefully one that will work decently well and i can zoom in at any point here to get a better view I'm just going to move that up and then finally this lot here and then zoom out. Whoops. Okay, so if I hit spacebar, go back to my perspective view and then I'm not sure I'm loving that shape. Let's just pull that one down slightly. That's good enough. Okay, right click back to object mode and now I've got a bowl that could reasonably be expected to sit on a table. Um, 
so now let's go ahead actually let's name it let's call it bowl because we always want to name things and then let's create some fruit to go into it actually one thing we can do to make it look prettier you'll see that it's still quite low poly um, is if you just press 3 on your keyboard you'll go to smooth mode and it will automatically smooth it for you if I press 1 on my keyboard board I go back to normal mode three on my keyboard I go back to smooth mode so let's go ahead and create some fruit so polygon primitives sphere options box edit reset settings create that's too big so let's scale it down let's try 0.2 there we go it's maybe a little bit too small. Let's try 0.3. Let's name that orange one and control D to duplicate it. My will automatically call it orange two. Control D to duplicate it, and we've got some oranges in a bowl. And we can go into the outliner, Windows Outliner. And we can group these together in one group. Ah, it looks like we've actually got some history here in the um, modeling, which I need to get rid of. So let's just, I'm going to se select the um, bowl. I just drag select those guys there, bowl and orange, one, two, three, and go control G. And that will create a group. So I'm going to call that fruit bowl. Then you need to get into the habit of doing this in your outliner from time to time so that you don't um, mess things around. Um, but one advantage of this is I can now select the bowl. Oh, no, I can't. Hold on. Uh, well, I can, I can select that um, group there in the outliner and move the whole group around. Whereas if I select the individual objects, they're going to move around individually. But if I select the group, I can move the whole thing. So think of a group as being like a folder to put things in. Very, very useful. Um, and we also need to, we've still got all the <coughs> elements of the table there. Um, so let's just turn on the set again. Let's move the fruit bowl onto the table. And let's actually, one thing we're going to have to do is, is um, scale the bowl up because it's too small so let's scale that up to say two and move that like that so it's a little bit bigger and let's click on the table which I haven't actually properly named which I should do so let's call that table and then let's find the outliner again windows outliner there it is and let's just go edit delete by type history there we go and that will delete all the history on the table so we've just got a single object which is what we want and we can actually grab these guys here ground wall one and wall two and go control G and that will create a group for the set so let's call that set group actually this is a better let's do that set group and then let's call that fruit group like that and then we've got consistent naming uh, through in the outliner and your outliner will fill up fast when you're when you're creating uh, geometry so you do want to keep this very very clean um, and there we have it now we have a simple set with uh, some walls a floor a table and a bowl of fruit let's move these so they're not poking through the geometry below